Australia has shut the door on one of China's wealthiest and most prominent businessmen, suspected by security authorities of wielding too much influence here. Sydney-based property developer Huang Zhangmo has always denied allegations he sought to leverage politicians with donations, but has now been stripped of his right to re-enter the country. Here's National Affairs correspondent Greg Jennett. On its harbourside hilltop, a pig of a year's begun in the house of Huang. A quick yoo-hoo from the ABC raised nothing. No answer. Same again at the family business tower just down the road. The reason? After seven prosperous years in Australia, Wang Zhang Mo's Chinese New Year's starting overseas, and he'll struggle to ever enjoy an eighth here. I do understand there has been the cancellation of uh, um, uh, citizenship of a high-profile individual. That's rare public confirmation that ASIO's security concerns about the businessman's Chinese connections have finally won out. They're sensitive matters and the government has always been, has always acted consistent with the advice that we've received and that's what has happened on this occasion. He's got no visa to return and that long-running bid for citizenship and an Australian passport. Why have you asked Australian politicians to help you get a passport? Now just a forlorn hope. He's known of the rebuff for a while, and although he still features prominently on its website, last year severed links with the Yuhu property group he founded. The company's operations and projects are certainly continuing, and it's business as usual, it says. Throughout his time in charge, the businessman made more than $2 million worth of legal and declared donations to political parties and found doors opened to powerful figures. He's always denied seeking to wield influence. Blocking Mr Huang's the clearest sign the government's serious about bolstering national defences against foreign interference. But taking a stand on security also runs the risk of causing offence in Beijing, which has only just begun to thaw diplomatic relations with Australia. China may have known of the decision for weeks or even months, but has made nothing of it so far. They have not been raised with me. I don't expect it to, uh, to be a subject of a bilateral discussion. All up, the exclusion of an Australian-based donor and this year's complete ban on all foreign donations will force cash-strapped parties to be more nimble. <laughs> with campaigns to mobilise within weeks. Good. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.